Starting your lock or natural hair journey is oh so rewarding, but can be extremely stressful when you start to consider what products to use. If that's you, then look no further. Locklicious is a black owned company that has created an all natural product line for locked and loose natural crowns. The Locklicious team works hard to ensure that their products are free of parabens, phthalates, sulfates, PEG, synthetics, and other toxic chemicals you find in other products. Best of all, the products are lightweight and will not leave residue or cause buildup. Go to Locklicious.com to start treating your crown like royalty. You know, that was an interesting story, but I definitely understand it. So you had a brother and sister that was doing a destination wedding and it was doing this destination wedding in Jamaica. So there were people that they asked to RSVP. So when you ask somebody to RSVP, that means they, they call in and telling you or going to whatever. Um, some people do it through a website. Sometimes you may have a person that's over the RSVPs and they, they pick up the phone, they go whatever, and they say, yes, I will be in attendance, you know, to your wedding event, et cetera. But you had eight people who failed to show up uh, to their wedding in Jamaica earlier this month without changing their RSVP. And this uh, newlywed couple from Chicago had created invoices calling out those who bailed in order to send a message without wedding etiquette, okay? So they said that the invoice was created by Doug and Deidre Simmons after they got married on August 18th. And they say they sparked a big debate on social media. Now they said the invoice, if you can, brother Sharif, you can put up a, a picture of that invoice. Now this invoice, they say it's being sent because uh, you confirm seats at the wedding reception during the final head count. The amount, of, amount above is the cost of your individual seats because you didn't call or give us proper notice that you wouldn't be in attendance. This amount will be, uh, is what you owe us for paying for your seats in advance. You can pay uh, via Zelle or PayPal. Uh, please reach out to us and let us know what method of payment works for you. Thank you. Now, of course, uh, some people uh, saw it on social media and got offended by that. It was shared thousands of times. Uh, they said that they had asked the people who RSVP from November to August, and they would be in attendance, okay? They asked multiple times. And every time they said yes, they said if any time they said they weren't able to attend, they said we were truly understood. They say, but the no call, no show was a bit disappointing. It is disappointing, especially when you think enough of people to invite them, you want them to be there, especially a destination wedding. You want them to be there because you're not going to have 300 people at a destination wedding. And maybe you could, it depends on the 300 people you know, right? and you just don't even show up. Now they said a couple had to pay for the meals of eight people who did not show up the 30 days advance um, to their Negril Jamaica wedding. They said, we all was on WhatsApp. They said, neither one of us got a call or text um, from any of them letting them know we would, they wouldn't be able to make it. They said, we got home from Jamaica. They said, there was still no call or no text. He said, so the invoice request of $240 payment for $220 meals start going out. Yeah, because that costs a lot of money. Like I said, I don't really, you know, it, it's interesting, but I don't really blame them. Because let me talk about me for a minute. You know, me and my wife is about to celebrate our 10 years um, together, right? And we always say, we didn't have hardly anything when we got married. We really didn't. We still had to put on a small wedding, but we said, look, we're going to do the real event. If we get to our 10 year mark, we're going to do the real event. Okay. Now we about to be there, you know, coming up shortly. We doing the real event. We're going to renew our vows. Okay, cool. I'm doing that RSVP. And because every person, we have to pay for the, the meals and everything else that we have to pay for. So to just to RSVP and just not show up. Now, I will not do what they're doing. I won't. Because I'm like, okay, well, shoot, give me my food and we take it home. It is what it is. But like I said, they did a destination wedding and, um, you know, I'm not even tripping on that. I'll do, but I will say, brother and sister, just in the future, only invite people you know that probably will show up. Matter of fact, the people that showed up, only invite them next time to something out the country. Um, you know, because, hey, and at the same time, you know, um, some people just... <sighs> 
Uh, I'm telling you, some people just certain ways, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, this is an interesting story, but shout out to brother and sister, you know, may your marriage um, be blessed and that um, y'all, you know, see a lot of happy days. Y'all sit back and laugh at this. But leave me a comment, let me know what you think about uh, this particular story. Um, would you do that? That's a good question. I'd like to know. Make the most of your organic gardening experience with the world's first self-growing planter. All you do is add soil, seeds, or plants, and walk away for the rest of the year. Our planters will germinate your seeds and grow your plants. Torpedo Pot's microbial organic growing process is designed to give plants incredible texture, refreshing scent, beautiful colors, and delightful flavors. Torpedo Pot is fully automated and uses over 95% less water to grow a lot more nutritious food. Check out our website, www.torpedopot.com and order yours today. Thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out the African Diaspora News Channel app in the Google Play and Apple App Store.